What's up my add-ons? Advantageous here and yeah, you're if you think you're seeing what you think you're seeing, you are correct. I am back on my 3DS. Yeah, I have uh, completed Ultra Sun and I've been getting some battles in. Uh, so today, do you guys remember all the way back when I did my Belly Drum Marowak team on doubles? Well, I'm bringing it back, this time with the Lolan Marowak. Uh, so I got all new partners for it, try kind of some different things with it. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. I lost a lot of games, but you know what? That's, that's not the point of this team. The point is, have fun. So this is why I do, I'm doing this one post-commentary, because I had a lot of battles, and I just wanted to get through them. So, without further ado, let's get back to it. So, as you can see, probably saw from my other side, he's leading Nine Tails, like him rock. So I'm thinking Aurora Veil is going up, but looking at his team, it's not too bulky. So if I can get a Belly Drum up, even though he's having the damage, like it's still still an Alolan Marowak with the Thick Flow. Uh, this time around, I didn't actually put Protect on it uh, because I wanted to run its two stabs plus Rock Slide. So no Protect. That's why I lost a lot of games because I couldn't really stop to get a little bit set up. So anyways, on this first turn, I'm expecting Stone Edge from Lycan Rock, obviously, and Aurora Veil. Um, so I just follow me with Clefairy. This is the one I used um, for my international challenge. Uh, I get Foul Played and Roll Played, which was kind of interesting. Um, Ninetales actually takes my friend guard, which was, I'm like, huh, that's pretty cool. It's not going to save you, because this, like, even a uh, Blizzard isn't going to take me out. I max HP. Uh, but I'm just like, all I have to do is follow me, Rock Slide, and you guys are done. Like, it's it's game over. So he's gonna switch Lycan Rock out, which I wasn't really sure why. And then he brings in Charizard, and I'm like, oh no, because I clicked Rock Slide on this turn. And you're gonna see um, some bad. So yeah, so Nine Tails actually hits a sheer cold here, which is like, wow. I was pretty lucky, but it doesn't matter. That's why uh, Follow Me is there, because that would have hit Marowak, and that would have ended all my fun. So, yeah, so Rock Slide comes in, and yeah, good night. That's uh, that's an easy KO on everyone nine kills. It's not Focus Sash. Could have been, but uh, no, not not today. Not today. So yeah, so now it's still um, it's still pretty slow. I'm obviously max. I'm not speed invested, so I'm just like okay. Here's I had to make a decision and figure out who's going to attack Marowak here. And I'm looking at Feromosa, I'm like, Feromosa doesn't have anything for Marowak. So I decide to fake out the Lycan Rock right here, take away its Stone Edge, and then yeah, Feromosa goes for the U-turn on me and takes out Jinx. And I'm like, that is just fine with me. Because guess what? Guess what I clicked, guys? I mean, you know, you don't really have to guess that much. Yeah, I clicked Rock Slide. And I don't miss, and that is game over. So that is a three-turn victory for Marowak. Uh, pretty ridiculous. So Marowak is just super strong. Um, and if you can outplay your opponents, it's just, it's not a fun time. So that was game number one. Let's go jump right into game number two. This time you saw Dunsparce there. That was a uh, flinching set. Um, if you guys want me to explain my sets, Afterwards, how they helped Clefairy was just your typical follow me, protect Icy Wind, and helping hand uh, set. So here, Kangaskhan Sylveon lead. Um, pretty scary, but looking at my team, like Hyper Voice isn't going to do that much to Marowak. So I wasn't too concerned. I didn't know if Kangaskhan would stay in regular and try to fake me out. Uh, but he does Mega Evolve here. Um, and I'm not really concerned about that Sylveon too much. Uh, but I do just go for the follow me part. No, I go for Icy Wind here, actually. Yeah, I remember, because I'm like, Kangaskhan's gonna Sucker Punch. I'm gonna get my Belly Draw off for free. Um, and then Clefairy can click Icy Wind, possibly outspeed the Sylveon. Um, unfortunately, Sylveon does protect. Uh, but I'm not too scared of the Sylveon at this point, because Marowak does resist it pretty hard. I'm, you know, obviously Marowak's not especially defensive, but that's okay. Uh, so I do hit it on Kangaskhan. I'm still pretty sure that Kangaskhan's going to outspeed me, even after a minus one. Uh, so here he decides to try to bring out Landorus and uh, lower my attack, but I'm still at plus five. So yeah, it's not really going to help. Uh, as my opponent does do a double switch here, which does not help him whatsoever. Um, I do reveal the follow me here. 
Um, and it didn't really matter what Clefairy did, to be honest. Um, because, yeah, Rock Slide is just going to absolutely annihilate my opponent. And if you didn't know, um, as you're going to find out here, because Kangaskhan is going to try to Sucker Punch me, Follow Me works for Sucker Punch. So, I will be clicking Follow Me, and Kangaskhan is going to uh, miss the Sucker Punch because of it. It's going to fail, because I'm not using an attacking move on Clefairy. So yeah, so follow me. Come through. I'm just predicting Sucker Punch, Hyper Voice. Even then, like, Clefairy is super bulky. So you see, it fails. Um, probably didn't know what to do. You probably didn't have another option. So yeah, so you see, I take very little from that Hyper Voice. And then Brock Slide is just going to sweep my opponent. So another return victory for Marowak. It's, it's ridiculous how strong Marowak is. Like, that was plus five, and I just swept his entire team of Rock Slide. And I was kind of just thinking, like, I don't want to, like, have it be like that. Just, like, like maybe I could switch a move and take, um... Oh, no, that's not the battle I want to show you. That's going to be for last. Yeah, I'll tell you why. So, it's like maybe I could protect, maybe keep Flare Blitz or Shadow Bone, because I haven't shown it yet. Uh, but you're going to see I definitely wanted it um, for this, because it, it was very helpful. Um, and yeah, obviously, um, it was funny when I was doing testing for this team, or like, earlier battles. Um, Lightning Rod is very interesting. You think you're always going to have Lightning Rod on Marowak. Uh, but it can throw people off. So here, turn one, I'm thinking Belly Drum, uh, Trick Room. So I'm just like, screw the Belly Drum. I'm just going to Helping Hand, uh, Shadow Bone. And I'm just going to blow this Gothitelle back into the next dimension. I didn't know if it would take it out, I didn't know how bulky it would be, but Snorlax, I was like, Curse, Belly Drum, one of those things. Wasn't sure which. Um, but, you know, I took, a, I took a guess. And it is the Belly Drum. Um, and I do see he goes after me, which is, um, which is good. So that way I can get my attacks off. Uh, so then in comes Aggron. Which is pretty scary. And I'm like, okay, that's Mega. And you can see so far, it's a full shiny team going on. Uh, so he's going to Mega Ball the Aggron, and here I had to think who was going to hit me. I'm thinking Snorlax is going to go for high horsepower on me, so I actually predict uh, the Aggron to target the Clefairy, and then I'm just going to Flare Blitz this Snorlax, which I was guessing was the, um, the Berry set, and just didn't get to activate his Berry. So I'm like, yeah, I can take Snorlax out with a Helping Hand Flare Blitz. And then you see Aggron goes for the Heavy Slam, targets Clefairy, so I, I predicted it correctly, I just barely live. And then I'm sitting here and like, and then Moon Duck comes out. And I'm thinking, huh, okay, what do I do here? So I decide to Helping Hand again. I get to click Belly Drum. And I'm actually going to try and blow, like just blow up this Aggron. And I do just that. Go for Flare Blitz and I take it out. I, not even a crit. Like, I don't even care if it was improperly EV'd and IV'd. That is still a Mega Aggron with 230 defense. I just took it out. So yeah, Helping Hand again with Clefairy as I'm just going to Shadow Bone this Cresselia. I'm like, if I took out a Mega Aggron, I'm clearly going to just destroy this Cresselia. So Clefairy goes down with the Psycho Cut. So I don't know if he was just like a new hacker or just like a hacker with a strange team. But yeah, four turn victory. Didn't click Rock Slide once. And it was just, it was so awesome. I was so happy. Oh, I love it. And now I'm going to show you the last one. And this, this was, this was actually a very good battle. This was just not what, like, it wasn't just set up with Marowak and Sweep. It was so well done. I was so happy with myself after this battle. I, like, this is why I had to show you. Like, I'm just like, okay, I need to, I need to record these and... For all these two when I won, I'm like, please don't disconnect, please don't disconnect, please don't disconnect, because I'm not recording it. But if I don't get to save the battle, I can't show you guys. So here, uh, I didn't know what he was going to lead, and then he leads Coco Pelipper, so definitely the Soak Thunder set. And this is where the Lightning Rod comes into play. So he took a very long time on this first run, on this first turn to think about what he was going to do. Um, and he, he had to be thinking I had Lightning Rod, he has nothing else. To hit Marowak with, so he does switch out. As I go for the belly drum, I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm going for it. 
Like, it's this is what I do. Uh, I don't think I lived with anything else other than Clefairy, but it's so good. Like, I, I lived hits, even though uh, I had games where I um, just forfeited turn one. Like, Marowak was living hits. It had no business winning, or living, because of Clefairy. Yeah, so I'm going to go for the Belly Drum. I get it off for free. Um, I don't see anything that either of these two can hit me with uh, for, like, double the attack. So I'm like, Clefairy can take the hits. Like, I just need it to survive the hits. And then Marowak uh, can just rock slide and just destroy people's lives. So uh, that Almanola had um, some liquidation, which is pretty interesting. And I'm also noticing more shinies here. I didn't really think about that. I just thought about the other team. Almanola actually lives that, which leads me to believe it's max HP, max defense. And there's no way it's living that. I know it's not stab, but there's no way it's living that without investment. And then here comes the problem. Here comes the Bisharp, which I saw and I knew was going to be an issue for my team. So here, I have to predict properly uh, what to do. So I do uh, rock slide the, uh, the Bisharp, thinking that it would sucker punch me, be able to sucker punch me, and then Almamola, I didn't know what it was going to do. I thought they would both double target me, so I got lucky that he didn't expect the uh, fake out from Jinx. And actually went after Might, and so Almamola went after Jinx, allowing my Marowak to live, which was just like, whew, thank you. So I got a bit lucky here. Uh, so here, here was a pretty, pretty well played turn. I clicked Belly Drum. I didn't know if it was going to cause me to, uh, like, use the, lose another half of my health because I still had it, uh, but I don't. So Tampa Coco takes the risk that I'm not Lightning Rod. Um, I guess it didn't really matter, or he thought I was—he probably thought I was going to take him out anyways, or that I was going to get taken out. So he risked it anyways. So here was such a critical turn. This, this was the end of the battle. This is the final turn. This was an amazing play by me. I predicted the sucker punch by Bisharp, took a huge risk, bullet punched it, and I took it out. I don't know if that how close the damage roll was there, but I had to predict Tapu Koko to Thunder Scizor. What it does, and I clicked Rock Slide just in case something went horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, but yeah, I should have just clicked like Flare Blitz uh, or Shadow Bone because either one would have taken it out. I hit my Rock Slide and I take out Tapu Koko. I'm just like, oh my god, I just barely won that, and it was just it was such a hard choice. I'm like, what do I do here? Do I try and take out Tapu Koko? And then just like try to outplay this Bishar with the Sucker Punch games? I had no idea what to do. And it's just like, I'm gonna take a gamble. It's like, I need I need the bullet punch to take it out. And it did. So I don't think I'm done with this. I found some other fun teams that I can uh, like partners I can put with it. So I'm probably gonna bring it back with some more. So stick around for that. And there's gonna be lots more battle spot coming your way. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh bye bye!